So, good morning everyone. My name is Georgia Lanis Lucida, the first presenter of Arts During Christianity. So, Early Christian. The history of Early Christian covers Christianity from its origin to the First Council of Nikai and 325. The first parts of the period during the lifetimes of the Twelve Apostles is traditionally believed to have initiated by the Great Commission of Jesus. True some scholars dispute it historically and is called the Apostolic Age. So, early Christianity, it is a period in the history of Christianity. Generally, it renowned by church historians to begin with the ministry of Jesus and end with the first council of the Nikai. It is typically divided into two periods. The first one is Christianity in the first century, which is known as the Apostolic Age and the Antonicine period. Christianity and the Roman Empire were prosecuted until Emperor Constantin its toleration and promotion of Christianity. So the popular style town paintings and catacombs of Rome, which include most example of the earliest Christian art. Early Christians also developed their own iconography. So important work of art painting. Characteristic, early Christians used the same artistic media as the surrounding pagan culture, including fresco, mosaics, sculpture, and manuscript illumination. Early Christian art not, used, not only used Roman forms, it also used Roman style. So the second presenter will be me and S. Hison. So this is the example of early Christian mural painting of Good Shepherd from the catacomb of Priscilla, Rome in 275th century. The Good Shepherd in the catacombs. One of the images presented the most in the art of the catacombs is the Good Shepherd. The example of Christ among his apostles. Catacomb of Dominitel. Domitelia, early 4th century. An early presentation of Christ found in the Kotokam, Domitel, Domitelia, is the picture of Christ plucked by a group of his disciples. This Christian imagery might mistake this for an image of the Last Supper. Christ draped in a classical garb holds a scroll in his left hand while his right and his outstretched in the so-called ad locotium gesture, or the gesture of the orator. Example of Sarcopagi. Sarcopagos of Constantina, daughter of Constantine I. From their mausoleum at Santa Constanza, now in Vatican Museums. So early Christian sarcophagi are those ancient Roman sarcophagi carrying inscriptions or carving relating them to early Christianity. A wide variety of subjects are shown on carcophagi with the most elaborate containing small cycles or narrative scenes from the gospel from simpler ones symbols as the, as the hero. Christianity in the arts. The arts are the many ways considered to be the pinnacle of culture. The arts intends the senses that are the most powerful and the most central to modern human life, sight and hearing. But the visual arts and the perform performing arts ensnare in 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 human eyes with graceful lines and vibrant color. Other versions of the per performing arts capture woman attention through their intricate melodies and, and beautiful harmonies. Literature, meanwhile, transcends the senses entirely in order to reach a human mind and move the human heart. All forms of art work to being to life.
type something that cannot other ways to be expressed of or to share an experience or emotion that profoundly moved the artist. For centuries, poetry has been the choice of medium for lovesick men and women attempting to capture the incredible feelings, the object of the affections attires within them, music and avoid emotion without words, and theater can be performed so masterfully that the audience forgets the sense is not real. Men and women have stared and status and printing, painting and rapture of, or being moved to thirst by a concert. The arts are almost as old as the emotions they elicit, and they have what many will find to be an unlikely mouse and poultry. This is example of the arts. This is example of theater. Theater, as it is known today, has its roots back in ancient Greece. The pagan background of the performing art, however, does not mean that they, there are not places that are packed with, with Christian things and Im imagery. Jesus Christ, superstar, and God's 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 been, but explicitly there with the life and ministry of the Jesus Christ, Joseph and the Technicolor dream coat. On the other hand, has made the Old Testament sto story of Joseph one of the best known tales in the Bible. Visual art. Visual art has been in the collective mind of the church for nearly as long as Christianity has existed. The question of how to defect important Christian figures and stories should be depicted was the subject of much debate in early Christianity. The issue of religious art was actually such a controversial topic and given so much importance that it was the seventh economical council was called in order to deal with the subject of icons of religious image. Christianity was also the subject of many things of the most famous paintings and status ever created. The ceiling of the Sistine Chapel is considered to be one of the most incredible masterpieces ever created. And Michael Angelus, the David and the Lapita are two are two of the most well-known sculpture in the world. Other Renaissance artists also called to Christianity for inspiration, including Raphael and Leonardo da Vinci. Christianity has been entangled in the arts since before its birth and has primitive ever medium of the arts. From the ancient past, Psalms, and hymns that early Christians sang to modern, to modern recording studios and from incredible paintings of the Renaissance to the spectacle of less miserables. The arts have put the, the base of Christianity on display. Creatives across the, the time and space have used their talents to share with the world the joy and the grace that Christianity brings its adherents. Art was all but made for religion. Music. Christian music has become its own genre in modern times. There are hundreds of songs on the radio that glorify God and praise Christ. So nowadays, the popular story behind the song is the song that I can only imagine was made into a feature land film that was an expected box office hit. So the common themes of Christian music, it includes praise, worship, penitence, lament, and it's formed very widely across the world.